Folks, these are all small engraving tools that has a bird as one of the images on them. Um, and each one of these, I've examined these really well. I have especially examined them with a mag magnifying glass so I could show you that there was eyes on each one of these birds. Well, I hope this is... That's not doing as well as I thought. But anyway, I did. I looked at all these. Um, there's two kind of birds on these abrasion um, engraving type of tools. I just want to show you one right here first. Uh, this little bird has a sharp edge. And that is a cutting abrasion tool. Now, all of these are abrasion uh, engraving tools. And they have a bird. I forgot what I was going to say about. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, folks. Sometimes I get spacey. Uh, in these engraving tools and, and many others that I have, it seems so far I have found two types of birds. One that's standing up, like that one right back there, uh, like standing up on a mountain or something. And the ones that are sort of setting, uh, uh, they're just sitting there. And they each have a little bitty head and a eye on each side. And they're, a, they're in an engraving tool. Abrasion, I mean, they're, they're abrasion, and they're a bird, and they're a tiny little tool, and the wear is, uh, well, I pointed the wear up, and some of them can get really, really tiny, but even as small as they are, those folks still was able to carve little bitty eyes out on it. And there's a little bird there and tiny little triangle eyes. This is an interesting tool because that has another image of an owl on that side. And of course a bird and almost something on every side. But this tool is made that way. And that is the engraving part. I could almost call that cutting more than abrasion. But uh, I wanted to show that end of that owl and everything on that little engraving tool. Um, and that's what these are. They're uh, small engraving tools. You can see how small they are. Some gets really tiny. But there's a really neat bird on them wings and everything on each one of these wish I could stay in focus and they really get small and it's a bird that's like let's see like he's sitting down on a mountain or something now these are the ones where the bird seems to be uh, more standing up Turn that one, not this direction. They're tiny, and you really have to look pretty close to find the eyes of the bird. And they have wings and all. Oh, these are the guys that's kind of setting down, setting down birds. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that thing's not hardly bigger than my fingernail. You know. And it's a tool, an abrasion tool right there on the end of it. Um, that's a, a tool that I'm not sure what it is, but it's one of those that makes that 45 degree sharp cutting tool. I have, I just can't 
figure out what the image is. I mean, it looks kind of snake looking. And it could be I'm not looking at it in the right direction, too. I don't know. But, uh, I just don't know. Uh, this one, uh, which has this owl looking straight out, is really cool. Uh, this one's not so much an engraving tool. Well, possibly a little sanding right there. But it's got that owl. See the eyes, triangle eyes. But on each wedge shape here is an elephant with the eyes on them. Trunk. Each wedge. And uh, it's the wedge shape that you'll find the elephants. Or that I find the elephants. Sounding kind of bossy there. I'm not sure if that's an elephant. The trunk doesn't go down. But that one is. And... That one might be a little bitty one. But this is one of those pieces off core that comes out triangular. And it is a, a small abrasion tool. And it's got this tiny little artwork in it. In fact, there's a bird on all three edges of this. There's a little bird right there. There's kind of like profile of one there. But it looks kind of like an owl from there. But that's a few tiny tools. And somehow this one looks like a ram on a mountain. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It's like there's a horn and he's standing up there on a mountain or something. I guess this is where pareidolia plays into it, because I just want it to be a ram up there on the mountain. Actually, it kind of looks like a bird flying there, and that's one of the wings. You know, and this, I can't figure out what that is. I keep thinking squirrel. Every time I look at it, I think, well, that's a squirrel. But, I don't know, too big of an eye for a squirrel. There's some uh, pretty wild images that, well, they're beyond me. Uh, bye for now, folks. That's little tiny tools with incredible artwork. Uh, folks, I'm going to try to explain something. Um, if... Uh, If I, um, if I was to take a picture of something with, uh, this, this, where I can zoom out and in, a photo, uh, where I can zoom that picture out and in, as I do that, I see uh, this is hard to explain multivisional uh, perception of rock art I just um, let me give this as an example in fact this is one that made up this whole story this morning uh, there is a bird right here. His head's... Here. His head's right there. I'll try to get as close as I can making a video. That's what I'm trying to say. I can make a neat video, uh, but if I take a photo, I can... You know all that. Zoom it in now. Well, what this tells me is that... Uh... Well, there's the bird, and there's his eye, and the wings. Um, let me start again. I'm sorry, folks. This this is kind of important, if you just t trust me. I've worked with colors for years. 
Uh, so I know that this stone, after it was carved in this awesome little eagle, and its wing goes right down here, you can have the stone in your hand and move it slightly in the light, and you can see where that was pecked out to be that image right there, even with feathers and everything. And, um, oh, colors. So I know this one and many others, they were painted first with a, a yellow, maybe a, a lot of yellow mixed with orange, but usually it was a yellow base. As I said, I don't have yellow around here. But uh, over that, this eagle was made with, was colored with black. Uh, and uh, anyway, it, it was. I mean, I know, I know colors. And it's awesome. Uh, here's this eagle, one wing goes back in that way and this is the other one and this is one of his powerful feet arms and both of these arms here at the bottom the claws are attached to this snake right here you can see both his eyes <clears throat> you have to see it from the other side coming up like that but that eagle has Big old snake. And uh, by taking a photo, I mean, if you had the rock, you could take a photo of it and zoom it in and out. And you can find all those details. Um, bye for now. And this awesome piece of art is, uh, I have shown it before, actually. This is that bone ancient bone and um, it has incredible carvings on this side I'll make a whole video on this stone but do you see the elephants at the top the bird in the middle huh we'll play around later